I have struggled with weight from as early as I can remember. I believe my first diet started at the age of seven. I have tried every single diet program, weight loss program throughout my entire life, um, many of them multiple times, and um, failed at all of them. A few years ago at my heaviest is when I started to really notice the um, limitations that my body was creating, that I just physically couldn't do things. I used to love mountain climbing. That was something I had kind of gotten into um, a bunch of years back. And a few years ago when my weight was creeping up and up and up, that was becoming absolutely impossible. One of my last hikes, I was afraid I was gonna have a heart attack. My heart was pumping way too hard. Um, so I got really concerned, so I made us turn back. I just was so physically exhausted from trying to carry my weight and had to stop all the time and take breathers and many times like was concerned about whether I should go on or not because I was concerned of am I going to be able to physically make it up there and oftentimes I would cry as I'm going up the hike because I was so miserable. The other physical thing that I think about is my kayak. I love kayaking and my body was getting too large for my kayak, like literally having to squeeze into it and that it was actually uncomfortable um, during the paddle because I could feel my hips like pushed into the rails. My husband Tim and I went to climb Mount Chakora um, up in the White Mountains and we got up to this one particular part and there was just no way I could go any further. Like I was done, I was spent. And, um, and so I, I had to stop and I told him to continue to go as far as he wanted, but I needed to like lay down on this particular um, rock wall area. I just felt really defeated because there was just no way I was ever gonna be able to get to the top of that and just was very disappointing. I just started feeling like the quality of my life was going downhill big time. When it got to the point where my numbers in the labs started to change, um, that's when things really um, opened my eyes. For me, the day I went into the doctors, I was told I was pre-diabetic. The doctor had been pretty blunt with me and told me, you're pre-diabetic now. Um, it's not a matter of if you're gonna get diabetes, it's when um, you will absolutely get it. And if you keep going the way you're going with your weight, um, you will definitely die younger. Um, you're, lose, you're gonna lose at least 15 years off your life. I don't have any children, but I have nieces and nephews, and the first thing that went through my mind was, wow, I'm not gonna be able to see them grow up. And I was like, I'm not gonna let that happen. I, I can't, I can't lose out on something like that. I have to do something pretty drastic, and for me, weight loss surgery was nothing I even took seriously as a consideration because I always assumed I'd be healthy. We went to the information session and it was wonderful. Um, got so much information and for the first time I actually started to feel like there was hope. There were two or three people who had already had the surgery, so they had some before pictures. People were at different points of post-surgery, some of them were still in the process of losing weight, some people already had and had been in maintenance. Um, it, that's the stuff that really caught my attention because these were people that I could relate to, their stories were similar to mine. They weren't these like paid professionals that, you know, make everything seem like it's a piece of cake. It was, you know, like real people who had the same struggles. I've lost about 100 pounds and I've kept it off for it's been two and a half years now since my surgery, so I've kept it off. Everything's just so much easier. Hiking, not a problem at all anymore. One of the first things I had told Tim when I was recovering, I says, the next hike I wanna do is I wanna go back to Chikora, and I wanna do that exact same trail again, and I need to prove that I can move past where I left off. And we did, and um, we got to the point where I had stopped before and I kind of knelt down and touched the ground to kind of pay a little homage to kind of honor that part of my life that was now in the past and then got up and hiked the rest of it and went to the top and got
got to see things I never would have been able to see before. It's just really amazing how just easier everything is. Everyone in my family has been really, really very happy for me because they've seen that my quality of life has improved significantly and I'm a lot happier, um, both physically and mentally.